In today's video, we're gonna show you how to create a centralized game storage folder, either on your internal storage or on your micro SD card. This will allow you to sim link that centralized game location into your non-Steam game digital lockers like EA app or GOG or Battle.net or whatever it is that you wanna use. This will make sure that your games stay separate from the Proton prefixes and that your games will survive if you should ever have to delete or reinstall those digital lockers. Let's get to it. All right, so let's get this party started. We're gonna assume you already have EA app or Battle.net or one of these digital lockers already installed and working, and you're just looking to figure out how to centralize those games somewhere outside the Proton prefix. So here in our home folder, I have a folder called Games, and you can see I have Overwatch installed in here. And you can see here on my micro SD card, I also have a games folder where I have some various games installed. So we're gonna split this screen here in Dolphin. We are going to hop into Proton Tricks. You're gonna need this to figure out what the Proton prefix is for your launcher. So here's EA app 2158022, blah, blah, blah. So we are going to go to the Compat Data folder in this side. And if you don't already have a shortcut, there'll be a link in the description below. This is the full path. And we're gonna look for that Proton prefix, 2158022, blah, blah, blah. We're gonna dig in here until we get to the drive C. Now this is where all the Windows files are stored, right? You recognize all of these. We're gonna left drag the games folder and create a link. Now this is linking to the games folder on my internal storage, right? So now what we'll do is we'll go into the locker of your choice. In this case, we'll use EA app. And we're going to set the default location for that to install games into that games folder. Now, if you're clever, and I'm not gonna show you how to do this, but if you've already installed some EA games and you wanna move them to that centralized location, if you wanna see that video, I'll, sh I'll make one for you, but I'm not gonna show that here. Instead, we're gonna go in here now, so all subsequent games installed there. We're gonna go to settings, and uh, every one of these places is a little different. We'll look under downloads, and there you go. Now it's going to EA programs, EA games. You don't want that. That's on the that's in the Proton prefix. Instead, we want to go to C games, right? Remember, games is a sim linked folder outside of the Proton prefix. So anytime you install a game now, it's going to install it in this drive C sim link games, which of course actually is sim linked over to home games, right? So this is going to keep all of your game installs separate from the Proton prefix. And that will also make sure that the Proton prefix, should something happen to it, such as you uninstall it, you delete it by accident, whatever might happen, you have to reinstall it because it's broken again, then um, your games will be safe. So we're going to install Titanfall 2 here. Uh, boom. How, wouldn't, you, wouldn't you love it if it was really that fast? <laughs> but we installed the game, and you can see that the game is indeed installed inside that sim link, right? This is inside Drive C Games Titanfall 2. But remember, that's not in your... Prefix, it's actually in home games. Wherever I put games in here, where is it? There it is at the top. There you go. So it's safe now. If I were to delete EA app, right, uh, it would be safe. Now I could go into Ubisoft Connect. I'm going to do this again for Ubisoft Connect. I've got that prefix folder. I'm going to jump in here. I'm going to go to my drive C. And again, I am going to left drag that games folder from home games. And I'm going to drag it in here and create a link. Now, when I install something for a Ubisoft game, it will go into C games, which will actually be in a centralized storage location. We'll do the same thing for Battle.net. Go into drive C, draw, left drag the games folder from home, sim link it in there. And now when I install World of Warcraft or whatever, it'll now be installed inside that centralized hub and not inside one of these Proton prefixes. Now to demonstrate, I'm going to go ahead and nuke my copy of EA app. That's the only way to be sure, right? Dust off, nuke it from orbit. Only way to be sure. So I'm going to actually remove this, right? You Maybe you've had to do this because you've had to reinstall it because it's broken again, right? This is a typical standard thing. 
So even though I deleted it and it nuked everything about EA app, my game is sitting pretty inside this centralized games folder where as soon as I get EA working again, I can relink that game up and all will be well. Listen, I hope you like what you saw. Please uh, hit the bell, like, subscribe. You guys know what to do. I'm Shane Armonroe. Thanks so much for watching and take care.